But if we are to start somewhere today with the time we have, let's go to the ideas bucket. So quite a lot of companies are uh, trying to harvest the new business proposals, the new project requests, um, the pipeline of customers uh, way before it's been approved as such um, to get a heads up on the work that's about to impact us. And of course, in Power Apps, we are allowed to go in and uh, create custom entities. So here's an example of something called an idea. So in native Power Apps, we have, of course, the ability to see views like this, or change the views, my ideas, all ideas, show charting even, and also use the charts uh, to sort of track things by ROI and other elements. The great thing about this also is that we can click on these items and immediately see the data filtered on the right-hand side. So if we were to create a new idea, we could click here and write the webinar 2021 idea for that matter um, we could add a description this is uh, my idea of a project we could ask people to provide a budget estimate of uh, 50,000 perhaps and they might expect benefits to be 750,000 you save that and you get uh, a remarkable high ROI down here of 14. we can then ask people to score it or we could structure this process that they have to go through of course the business process steps from capturing the idea to scoring the idea and then finally at some point requesting for this to become a real project and of course in there you will have an approval that i can get back to so the point here is that besides capturing this we can then go here and link it to for instance part of the strategy growth in apac best in class in denmark or whatever else you have in the strategic buckets we have here on the left side let's take a great place to work and create the initiative so when I hit save now, because of Power Apps and um, that backend, that, which is so strong and fast, it immediately creates in real time the initiative and actually converts the idea, in this case, into a real working project or initiative, depending on what word you use for it. So I can click here. And as you can see, it sent me up to this bucket. I can also click there. And the same thing would apply. I could search by webinar, and you would find that the idea is now in here immediately. And it also moved over for instance we open it up something like the description who's the owner where does it come from uh, and so on here we can control what to capture and what to move over and again this is all the power of power apps it's just possible to do these things without building integrations so really cool so this was sort of taking it from idea to now this one being an active initiative and this typically means that we trigger a process so we have to go from initiate to business case to execute to close, unless it's another type of initiative. So you could have several. So we can have a project or a more agile project, which of course completely uh, reshapes the form here. So you can have various versions of uh, metadata that is required for the end user. So let's try first and build some, some quick uh, data here so that we have something to look at. Let's first add a sponsor to this project. That's a typically normal thing. We Carsten Sky. And again, we are using the people picker lookup uh, standard functionality. So if you hover over, of course, this is the, the real AD user, um, which of course talks back to the office graph and so on. So we can really use that a lot. Um, we then have the ability to also add, for instance, a steering group. It could be uh, me, then uh, another guy, Simon. Could be Monica and so forth. So here we've made a small PCF component to sort of make a simpler way of connecting and adding people to, to the entity. Um, if we then go down here to scheduling, let me just say quickly. Um, we can set up an expected start, which could be perhaps uh, next month, the 15th of September. And then hit save. This doesn't really do a whole lot, except it automatically tags it with a fiscal year. Uh, but it also allows us to go in now and select a template, so a scheduling template. And now we are moving over to sort of uh, item two on my presentation today, which is scheduling.